P E R S E V E R A N C E Perseverance. It takes a lot of perseverance to get through that word itself. The reason most people never achieve their goals is because they simply give up. Life was never meant to be easy. It's a constant struggle with the scream lows and the scream highs. Remember, the times when it's most important to persevere are times when you'll be most tested. Quoted from the unknown. I conquered the beast. Two weeks ago, my peers and I attended a camp known as Camp Beckett, which freshmen attend every year as a way to bond and to get to know each other better. Even though I learned a lot about my peers, I discovered more about myself than ever before. One activity that sticks with me today and inspired me to create this piece was climbing a giant alpine tower in 8 degree weather with several layers on that weighed a ton. Before climbing, I witnessed most of my peers climb before me. And I noticed that most of my peers did not make it all the way to the top. Despite most not making it all the way to the top, I wouldn't necessarily call them failures or giving up or not persevering. People are quick to judge and say that they gave up or didn't persevere or didn't achieve a goal of theirs, but in actuality, they may achieve a goal of theirs whether it was personal or not. Furthermore, I approached the tower and a worker standing next to the tower asked me what will be most challenging for me and a goal of mine for this activity. I responded back by saying, this said tower is no match for me and that if I had any goals, I would have, and that if I had any challenges, I would have to find out as I go. My goal is to make it all the way to the top and I'll persevere until I get there. It was time to climb. It was all or nothing, do or die. The signal to climb was to ask the following words in a fancy tone. On the belay, the person responsible for the belay will respond by saying, belay on. Then I have to say, climb me, followed by them saying, climb on. After I recited the following words and got permission to climb, I was on my way to the moment of truth. As I took my first step up the first obstacle, which was a log with holes that branched off into two different ways to continue climbing, the two different ways were either to continue climbing up, a log, up the log or continue climbing up a cargo net. I was clueless of which one to choose, so I turned around and asked the worker which one would be more challenging. The worker said the cargo net. I turned back around and faced the tower and continued climbing up the cargo net. The cargo net threw a lot of punches at me, and they were difficult to dodge due to the swaying of the cargo net as I climbed. My foot occasionally got stuck in the cargo net, and it was very difficult getting a size 14 out of those small squares. Once I finally figured out how to get my foot out of those small squares, I continued climbing. I finally got past the first part of the cargo net and slowly approached the second part. The second part had a huge space between the first part, and I was worried about transitioning to the next part. I decided to use my long arms to advantage and simply advance to the, the next part with my long reach. Once I got to the second part, I turned around and told the person holding the belay that I want to come down. There's no way I'd be able to make it to the top. The person who asked me, the, the worker who asked me the questions at the beginning about my goal and challenges responded back by saying, remember what you told me. You said you wanted to make it all the way to the top and will persevere until you get there. Without being able to respond because I knew he was right, I faced the tower once more. At this point, the ball was in my hands. I felt like Jordan in game six versus Utah with 5.6 seconds left. My fingers began to numb. I started to get fatigued and my energy got low. My peers started cheering me, on, cheering me on, and I could hear them shouting, you can do this, Will. I was, all, I was all, all, almost at the top, and there was no looking back now. I just knew if I hadn't made it to the top, that this would have never left my mind until I conquered it. As I slowly approached the top, 
and, and I could hear my peers, my friends cheering me on, I felt a rush of emotions. I felt like Jordan when he hit the game winner versus Utah. I felt like the Patriots, once Russell Wilson threw a goal line interception for the Patriots to take the win in Super Bowl 49. I crawled, I crawled on the Alpine Tower and just laid there due to exhaustion. I got up slowly and looked down at the people on the ground and, and just lift my arms up like this and said, I made it. After this activity, I felt so confident. I felt that I could achieve anything if I put my mind to it. Now, what does it take to achieve and go? P is for, pers P is for persistence. Persistence is going beyond the point where majority will stop. E is for effort. Effort is a determined attempt for achieving something. All goals require some effort, and most worthwhile goals require much effort. Effort is investing your time, money, energy into your goals. R is for reflection. You have to reflect upon the mistakes you've made and the number of times you failed in order for you not to make those same mistakes in the future. Be truthful with yourself and the future is bright for you. S is for sacrifice. Sacrifice is the act of giving up something in order to see the bigger picture. In life, you have to make sacrifices, e even if it means sacrificing your queen in order to get the king. E is for enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is an intense desire for achieving something. An intense desire is very helpful in achieving your goals. V is for vision. With a clear-eyed vision of your goal and where you like your goals to take you, I don't see why you won't be able to achieve your goals. E is for encourage. Encourage is giving hope or confidence to someone. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself when no one else is there to encourage you. When the going gets tough, persevere through that and encourage yourself. R is for responsibility. If your goal is to do something daily in order to receive the ultimate goal, you have to be responsible enough to obtain and complete those daily tasks in order to achieve that ultimate goal. A is for ambition. Ambition is a strong desire for something with hard work and determination. N is for never stop climbing. Once you're almost there and you're climbing that tower, never look down or never think about climbing back down. E, C is for commitment. Once you finally confirm that you want to achieve a certain goal, the next step is to commit to that goal. E is for end. Once you're finally at the top of that tower, you can finally look down, look at all the times you've failed and all the obstacles you've been through, and just smile and look at the other side and come up with a new goal. The process repeats itself. What, what does it take to achieve a goal? Perseverance. Thank you.